I'm Arnie Wasserman with Jesse Chappis from the Ultimate Health Podcast. Welcome back to another Focus Friday, where we bring you short bursts of information and inspiration to set your weekend off on the right foot. And today we are talking about gut-friendly foods. And this is super timely. We just had Naveen Jain, the founder of Viome, on the podcast. He was talking all about gut health, and we're just excited to break down some of our favorite gut-friendly foods with you guys. And Naveen is just one of the many guests that we've had on the show that it keeps coming back to the message that good health comes from a good gut. So Jesse and I are big on what kinds of foods you can consume to maintain a good, healthy microbiome. So we're going to share those with you guys today. And we're going to kick it off talking about fermented foods. And Marnie here is the author of Fermenting for Dummies. So I'm going to let her kick things off. So yeah, fermented foods, we love incorporating them in on a daily basis. These are foods that are so rich in probiotics and there's so many different ways you can get them in. And some of our faves include sauerkraut, kimchi, water kefir, kombucha, coconut yogurt, cashew yogurt, a new fave. We just discovered a brand new cashew yogurt and we are absolutely loving it. And chickpea miso. Jess, I know you love chickpea miso. Yeah, I do. I can actually eat it by the spoon. So good. So salty. And it's great in salad dressings. Just a big fan. So whether you're wanting to buy some of these fermented foods in stores or make them at home, and my book Fermenting for Dummies does have some recipes that you can incorporate at home really easily. So the goal is to get more ferments in and you don't need a lot. A little bit goes a long way. And we want to make sure we're feeding these good bacteria once they are in our gut. And that's where prebiotics come into play. And these are non-digestible carbohydrates. And some of the top foods for prebiotics include garlic, onions, asparagus, leeks, Jerusalem artichoke. Actually, I don't think I've ever had one of those, but I know it's high on the list. Apples, one of our favorite snacks. Mid-afternoon, Marnie likes to cut up apples, sometimes put a little bit of almond butter on them. Just delicious, satiating. We love them. So yeah, it's not about just getting the good bacteria in. We need to provide nutrients, food for these bacteria once they're in there, and that is where prebiotics come into play. So the next category is healthy fats. So when you're getting in good quality healthy fats, they can be very healing to the lining of the gut. And some of our faves include egg yolks, wild fish, avocados, coconut oil, olive oil, and ghee. And I know a lot of people find that ghee may or may not work for them. We're not big on ghee, but we know that it's super healing and super anti-inflammatory. So find some good healthy fats that work for you. Find ways to incorporate them in and make them the priority, and especially when it comes to the omega-3s. Next gut-friendly food, bone broth. And I know for a lot of people, it can be intimidating making your own bone broth, at least in the beginning. And luckily, there's great companies like Kettle and Fire that make organic bone broth, ships right to your door, and all you need to do is heat it up. So it's super easy. But if you're at that point, you're ready to take on making your own, even better. One of the great things about bone broth is the collagen in bone broth. And this reduces intestinal inflammation and heals the gut lining. It's also great if you have leaky gut, it can help heal that. And just to give you guys some perspective on leaky gut, leaky gut is when there's permeability in your intestines and food particles can actually escape through, go into your bloodstream and cause inflammation and all kinds of chronic illnesses. And that happens to be such a big thing that so many people are dealing with these days. So if we can start to incorporate some of these foods and patch up the cells in our gut, we can start to have really good gut health. But it takes time. And the last food I'm going to talk about is nuts and seeds. And when you consume nuts and seeds in their raw state, they can actually be a little bit harsh on the gut. But if you soak them or sprout them, it can make it a lot easier to digest. And good quality nuts and seeds like walnuts and almonds have, again, good fats in them that can be healing to the gut. So it really comes down to the method of preparation. So by soaking nuts and seeds, you can make it a lot easier to digest them. And seeds happen to be a lot easier to digest than nuts. So things like chia seeds or hemp seeds, sunflower seeds, these are some of our faves. And especially in a pureed or a nut butter form, this is that much better. So we hope you guys got a ton out of this and we'd love to see your favorite gut-friendly foods over on Instagram. Make sure and follow us over there at Ultimate Health Podcast. Share in your stories, share on your feed. What are your favorite gut-friendly foods? We'd love to see and interact with you over there. Yeah, and we're constantly posting our favorite gut-friendly foods. So make sure that you do follow us and see all those pics. And guys, enjoy your weekend. Eat some of these gut-nourishing foods and we will speak to you guys soon. Take care. Take care.